Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create lower thirds, which are those little titles that kind of pop up right here and tell you some information. Yeah, I'm going to teach you how to make those. A lot of people make them in After Effects, but I'm going to show you how to make it completely from scratch in Sony Vegas. I'm also going to provide a download link for the pictures that I created in Photoshop so you don't have to make anything. All you need is Vegas in this tutorial. And before we get started, I want to let you guys know that new shirts did just arrive. They're cheaper than all the other shirts you ever want to buy if you want to support anybody. And they're on Amazon, so you can get them primed to you for only 15 bucks. So it's not a bad deal. It really helps me out. So let's go ahead and get started. That file I provided in the download link is going to have the Vegas file, and it's going to have all the individual pictures. So it's going to have the Twitter one, the Facebook one, the Twitch one, the Instagram one, and the YouTube one. So let's get back over here, and we're going to drag this out to about 610 and cut it and delete it and that's how long our animation is going to be so first thing we want to drag out is the instagram icon and you'll see the pictures are actually set to the very bottom left corner so we're going to have to do some cropping but that's on purpose so let's stretch this out here and if we go to the end here and we drag this in seven frames we let that go and that's where our title is going to finish animating so to recap we have a six second and two frame green screen so we have the logo at the top and for here, temporarily, we're actually just going to drop in some text. It doesn't have to be anything right now, but that's where the text is going to go. And then we drop in our bar. Then we're going to drop in our shadow icon. And then we're going to drop in our shadow bar. So this is the entirety of what we have. We just need to position it and animate it now. So to start off, we're going to mute everything except the logo. Open up the cropping tool. Zoom out a little bit so we could shrink it. So we're gonna move the logo up about 15 pixels because I found that to be a pretty good spot. And we're gonna move the logo also right about 15 pixels. So it's even from the corner. Another thing you're gonna wanna make sure is that your project is in 60 frames a second. So if it's not, go to File, Properties, and then change it to 50 frames a second. And also turn off Smart Resampling. Make sure it's Disabled Resample and then hit OK. So first thing we wanna do is make sure size about center is active and we're gonna grab this side and it's gonna squeeze the pixels in and we're gonna butt it up right against the Instagram logo right before it starts cutting it off. So once we've squeezed it in, we're gonna go about 15 keyframes out cause that's gonna be a pretty good landing spot for our first bounce of the animation we're gonna make. So we hit OK. And then we go five more notches, one, two, three, four, five, hit a keyframe and that's gonna be our landing spot which is exactly where it's at right now. So go back to this keyframe click it and we're going to go left about five notches one two three four five and then click our original keyframe we got to actually move it right about there looks pretty good then we also right click on this keyframe and we need to change it to fast it means it's going to start moving pretty fast and then end slowly so let's see what that looks like looks pretty good to me we have our initial animation done so easiest part is we can actually just copy and paste a lot of this we hit the first keyframe copy, go to the end, hit paste, it's going to end in the exact same position it began, which is far out of the screen. And then we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15 keyframes, add one, left click this keyframe, copy, click this keyframe and paste, and then it would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, add our keyframe, copy the outer one, paste. And then right here we do want to change this keyframe to slow, so it can have a smooth outro. Now let's see what that looks like bounce in fly out perfect now we want to animate the bar itself now if we unmute this one we can see the bar and we need to move it into place so we do the 15 pixels it should line up pretty good so that looks pretty good to me and then we want to do the same thing where we're going to shrink the sides till they touch which is right about there so let's drag that out to where it's equal with our green screen and then now we're gonna animate it, very similar to the other one. So, if we go 15 frames out, we can keyframe it. One, two, three, four, five, keyframe it. So for the first keyframe, we wanna click on the picture and then drag it all the way right to where it's totally missing. There we go, so that looks good. And then it ends right here, so we click the second keyframe and then go left about five frames. One, two, three, four, five, that creates our bounce. Maybe even six, seven, see what that looks like. Looks pretty good. So we need to change this one though. We need to right click and then do fast. So it gives it that bounce we want. 
So now we look at the intro with the logo and the bar. There we go. So that looks really good. The best part about this is once you get the certain ones in order, you can just copy and paste. So we have our finishing spot, copy, paste. So 15 frames out, keyframe, one, two, three, four, five, keyframe. Copy the middle one, paste over that middle one, copy that inner one, paste over the inner one right here. And we're going to change that one to slow. So it starts off slow and then it ends up going quick and then pulls the logo into the abyss. Perfect. So look at that whole thing now. Looks perfect. So now comes the text. So we can drag the text. It's going to match the bar itself. Let's unmute it. And what we want to do, here's the best part. Click the first frame of the bar in the crop menu. Hold shift, click the last frame. That selects all of them. Copy. Open up the crop menu of the text. Click the first frame and paste. And now the text follows the bar, which is perfect. So now we open up the media generator info and then we adjust the text. So let's just say that scrapyard.films. And then we shrink the text a little bit. 20 looks good. And then we do the placement in the media generator to move it where we want it without it messing up the keyframes. 900 looks good. So let's see what that looks like. Oh, that looks great. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So then you can customize the text however you want in the media generator. If you want to add a little outline, you could do that to make it pop out a little bit. Maybe 0.25. That looks really good. Oh, yeah, it looks fantastic. So that's it. The text was that easy. So now we go for the shadows. So let's unmute the first shadow, which is the logo shadow, and we drag this one all the way to the end of the logo, because it's going to follow it. And guess what? We're going to open up the cropping tool, select the first keyframe, hold shift, select the last one, copy, open up the shadows cropping tool, select the first one, paste. Now the shadow follows that, which is perfect. So from here, this is where you can customize it however you want. So let's say if you want it to go down, you're going to have to go up here, you know, 11 or 10 pixels. But then what you have to do is also go 10 pixels on every single one. So you see the shadow follows, but I had to do it 10 pixels for the whole thing. So now we unmute the shadow bar and we do the same thing. We're going to drag it to match the bar itself. Then we're going to open up the keyframes of the bar, hold shift copy click the first one paste so now we have the shadow of the bar we need to adjust it though so we're going to do the 10 frames again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so there we go now we got the shadow of the logo and the shadow of the bar all right and the last thing you're going to be wanting to do is add the motion blur because animation just looks better when there's a little bit of motion blur added. So we're going to add some to the logo and the bar. So right here, we want it to blur a little bit and then stop. So the easiest way to do this is hold Control, Shift, and the letter B. And that brings up this additional video track down here, which you can right click and do Insert Remove Envelopes. And you can do a Motion Blur and Super Sampling Amount. So we're going to first click Motion Blur. And it brings up this little pink bar down here. Let's bring this back to halfway through its animation, which is right about there. And we can drag this up, and you'll see it start blurring. So the blur amount, let's do at 10 seconds. See, that looks pretty good. So we see we've added some blur. That's not too bad, maybe a little less. Let's do eight. So that's not too bad right there. So the blur is added, but it doesn't look so good because it's kind of framey. So we want to change that by right clicking, insert remove envelope, video super sampling. That brings up this dull orange bar and we want to drag that up. It can only go up to number eight. Let's drag that down to about four. Now this is going to take a lot of computer processing power to use this. So let's see what that looks like. I dropped my preview down to preview quarter so we can see it a little bit quicker. 
That doesn't look too bad. Maybe even a little bit less. Drag the motion blur down, length down to two. So if it looks good to you at three or four, then you could pump it up to eight and then render that and then you'll see what it looks like. But your ultimate goal is to make it look as least framey as possible. And so there you have it. That is how you make your lower third little title intros for your videos. It makes you look really professional. The animation looks really clean and smooth. And it's something you can do in Vegas and not have to download After Effects or learn a whole new video program to do. So go ahead, customize it, make yourself some awesome lower thirds. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that video. If that helped you out at all or if you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.